You want to know how to create great headlines that'll get you a lot of clicks? Well, stay tuned for this week's To the Frontier Tip of the Week. Hey everyone, welcome to another To the Frontier Tip of the Week. I'm Joe, and today I'm talking about creating amazing blog titles that people want to click on. And before I go any further, I want to clarify that I'm not talking about clickbait here. I'm not talking about just giving your, your blog a title, whatever it takes to get people to click on it, even if that title has nothing to do with the content of your blog. Don't do that. That is a black hat technique and um, Google will dock your points. They will figure it out. So don't do that. I'm also not talking about um, just stuffing your headlines and your titles with keywords, thinking that, okay, if I, if I just cram some keywords in there, um, Google will see the keywords and it'll rank highly. I'm not talking about that either because even if you rank highly, people will still see the weird headline with the keyword stuffing. Probably won't click on it and Google has gotten too smart for that anyway. They won't rank you highly. So it doesn't work. Don't do that either. What I am talking about is formatting your headlines and titles in a way that um, makes it enticing to click on. It's honest, but it's also enticing. So. How do you do that? Well, there's a few different headline formats that have been proven to um, have the most success these days on the internet. And they are how-to uh, headlines, list headlines, and question headlines. So what are each of those? We'll go into it a little bit here. So first, the how-to headline. That's actually the title of this year video is a how-to headline. Basically, it's just simply saying how to do something, um, whatever your blog is about. Maybe it's about um, how to SEO optimize a YouTube video. You could go, how to SEO optimize a YouTube video. The great thing about that headline is it promises results. It promises solutions. That's what your audience is looking for. They're looking for a solution. So a how-to article is really ideal for that. So that's just one format you could use. I'd encourage you to use it a lot with your blogs when it works, when you have an article where you're explaining how to do something, make sure those two magical words are at the front, how to. Next, I'm talking about list blogs. So what are list blogs? It's, it, they're out there, they're all over the place. It's these blogs that have numbers at the front. So like three amazing ways to make a casserole. That's just a run off the top of my head. Three, like five different um, uh, hacks for this video game. Those are list articles and they are magic for getting clicks because when people see those types of articles, they think to themselves, oh wow, three, five different ways to do this thing I'm interested in? Okay, that's cool. That, that, that shows me that one, the article will probably be skimmable because in the subheadings, it'll have the one, two, three, four, five different ways. And two, um, it's gonna give me a lot of different valuable tips. So that's another really valuable way to format your headline. Finally, there's questions. And it's just exactly how it sounds. Giving your blog a title that has a question is a great way to pique people's interest. Make sure that the question is an open-ended question, something, you know, just asking an intriguing question that you answer in your blog. Um, that's another great way to attract people's interest, get them to click on the blog, and get them to read it. So all three of those are great ways to format your headline, but I want to end off by just making sure you understand that headline is great. It's great for getting people to click on it, but you have to back it up with some amazing content. So be sure that you're writing content to back up the headline and you will be golden. And if you need help coming up with headlines, coming up with amazing content, good news is we at Frontier Marketing do that every day. So if you wanna give us a call, go ahead. We would be happy to talk to you about it. And be sure also to subscribe to this video if you want more marketing tips, because we got more coming. Thanks for watching.